Right. Hello, guys. So this is Steve and Carl again. Hello. Um, recording our our fifth is it fifth episode of Creations. I think it's like seven or something. To be honest, is it? <laughs> I'm sure there's a load. Wow. Who knows? Well, anyways, I think it's a fifth <laughs> um, creation. Um, and what is it, Steve? Because it was your idea as usual. Yes. This, time. this is. <laughs> well, not idea. I built I it. <laughs> yeah, you built yes. it. Is, this is an optimum setout layout for a sorting machine. So it's not really a creation as such. The sorting machines are something that people love to have, but there's never really been a set way of doing it, and people have quite often got it horrible and cables everywhere. So this is a very refined way, so all you see is the chests, and it is taking up as little space as possible. So that's basically what it is. Yeah. Pretty useful, isn't it, Carl? Well, I, I don't know how it works, but... <laughs> <laughs> yes, you know how all the nuke stuff works, that's about it. Yeah. If it can blow someone up, you're interested. Yeah, that's to my extent, yeah. I'm making it Christmassy for some reason. Green and I don't red. Know why. Yeah. There's bloody slimes in the base again. I'll beat it up with my top with my paintbrush. So I'll uh -huh. take it it won't let me kill either. Die. Die. It's a strong slime. I just kick it out here. Oh there we go. Oh there's millions of them. Oh we should have known this. On the way. Anyway, yes, we'll now go to the stats. <laughs> Instead of beating up slimes. Yep. That, Poor slimes. That should maybe I'm looking for a block of iron. Block of iron? Are you trying to make more iron golems? No. As last time they, <laughs> they horribly destroyed us. It oh my god. Well, it didn't destroy it. For some reason, it won't let us spawn them. That's peculiar. Hmm. I've got the Pokeball, but. Pokemon. Watch your Pokemon 3D, that's <laughs> Good advertising there. Good advertising. <laughs> um. Right, right, well we'll go, go to, to the, the we'll go to the main Oh, we're going to start first, yeah, as as yeah. per usual. Yeah. Right. Guys. Season sec. So these are the stats. It can be extended out infinitely. It can also uh, sort an item every zero point two seconds per each sorting machine. And thanks to the red power tubes, it cannot overflow. Okay guys, so this is how you build the machine as Steven's gonna show. So, yeah. this is the optimal layout for the sorting machine. Let's hope that I can remember it. Now, you always... I'm going to build it sort of lengthways across the thing, just to be awkward. Starting over here. You always start with a chest that is your drop box. And you're just going to sort of dump everything you want sorted into that. And then, it's all about repeating a pattern. So, I'm going to actually get some, if I can find them cover panels of any material you want. I used polished stone cover. That looks pretty nice. I think that looks pretty nice, Carl. Um, yeah, it d doesn't look too bad. Carl clearly hates it, don't you? He's not one of them on camera. <laughs> yeah. So, we're going to imagine that this is our wall. We want only the chests to be in front of the wall. Everything else we want to be hidden behind it. So, we're going to come out three blocks behind our wall and we're going to keep repeating a pattern that climbs up in sort of a triangle so it's three then two then one and on this we are going to paint so orange goes one way the next way is purple and I've put this in the wrong place haven't I oh silly me that's not right we want the first one white to come up here. He's just got no idea a day day, Steve. I don't I'm not with it clearly. Just no idea. And that's gonna feed up into another chest. Steve you have I don't know whether that's just um coming through my microphone. But your voice yeah. seems very croaky today. Thank you, Carl. <laughs> like <it's> a... <laughs> Alfie, shush. 
Cole's dog being the extra help there. Yep, just add an extra audio, yeah. So as you can see from this layout, we have two chests, one above each other, and thanks to the use of paint, the pipes are all connected up separately. We can get our sorting machine to put maybe ours in the orange and ingots in the purple, and everything else will go through to the white. Put down your next sorting machine, and I've just realised that you can't shift place those against um, chests. I'm going to have to put down a block. And I'm also going to have to find myself a screwdriver. So let's grab one of those and twist it round so that the bits that look like eyes are pointing towards your chest. That's how you want it to go. And then you're going to do a very similar pattern. You're going to have sort of the flip version. You're going to have one line coming out straight then going to have a sort of zigzag shape that goes down to the bottom and you're going to have a line going straight vertically downwards. Vertical down becomes white, the horizontal becomes orange and the zigzag becomes purple and as you can see they're all split up by the paint again. We can then put down some more panels just like so put down our two chests and again that's something we could sort. This pattern, both like flipped versions of it, will only take um, it'll take one line to fit the pattern and then a break line for the sorting machine. So you could literally have this going on and on for as many chests as you want. The version I built on our server, I think we had like 15 chests on there, didn't we, Carl? Yeah, probably more actually. Yeah, but to skip you having to watch me repeat this 15 chests, I'm going to stop now and show you what you do for the last one. So, where you would normally put a chest and sorting machine, you then just bring the pipe along here, still white, but on this one, instead of putting down a normal chest, you're going to find yourself, and well, you're not going to find yourself, you're going to build yourself an alchemical chest, you're going to put that down inside it. You're going to put a talisman of repair. What this will do is it will repair any items that have a damage value. And any value, any items with a damage value will not get sorted by a sorting machine. So that means it'll flow all the way through and end up in the end chest. And it'll repair. So even if you dump your tools in the drop box at the end, you'll have no problems. And thanks to the fact that there's uh, one gap, for the sorting machine in between each chest, you can easily put up signposts saying this chest is for this, this chest is for that. So it's a very good layout for them. But of course, your sorting machines need a couple of fins. First of all, they need energy. And they need red power energy. They can't have it powered by a nuclear reactor or anything because then your sorting machine would just go kaboom, wouldn't it? So... The power side, you will need a battery box. That's different from a bat box, the one that you normally use. It's a red power one. You'll see me put it down in a second. You'll need some blue alloy wire. I believe that's what it's called. Yes, blue alloy wire. You'll need some of that. And finally, you'll need some solar panels, not solar arrays or solar panels like industrial craft, but red power ones. So once again, it is slightly different, slightly more awkward. So I make a two wide sort of line, I put down my bat box, and then from there, I put one line of blue alloy wire, and then all the solar panels, and this would obviously extend out across the whole reach of all of your thinamajigs, your sorting machines. And then coming out of the bat box, I will run the cable along the second line, I'll find my covers again, wherever they are. I need to spawn some more in because I threw them away. And I can use that to break up the wire to stop it connecting with the one of the solar panels. So you can have one line of solar panels collecting power and one line running along hitting all of your um, sorting machines. But of course, they won't all be on the same layer. You'll also have some along the bottom just because of how little I did. So you didn't have to watch me, there aren't actually any on this one. But I imagine there's a solar panel, uh, sort of machine 
next to that chest I just put in, all the ones of your extended version will need power. So what I do is on the back side over here, I put one block down and put one underneath it. I can then run my cable down this and along underneath the line to power the top row. So you get both rows powered. After that, the final thing you need to do is get some red alloy wire running across to touch all your sorting machines. You can simply do that with a timer and red alloy wire. So I'll spawn some of those in. Let's find a timer. Uh, there's one. Let's find some red alloy wire. Uh, do stall for me, Carl. I find it. You're not stalling for yeah, me, Carl. What are you uh, doing? I'm a bit, a bit quiet today. You are. I am indeed. <laughs> um, yeah. Right, I found it. <laughs> You're too slow. Anyway, we'll put down a timer. We'll put that on a very fast speed, as usual. And it's literally just a case of running the red on the wire up and around. Oh dear, I seem to have... That's peculiar. It disappeared, even though I was in creative mode. How weird. Um, so you literally just need to run that around and onto all of them. The good thing about pipes is you can put covers on them. It doesn't take up an extra block. So you can run it across your um, pipes, no problem. You just have to snake it up and over where all these gaps are. So I've actually taken that one in the wrong direction. I will put it up and over this purple one, where I'll be able to run it into that sorting machine. Then I would go down under the next purple one, hit the sorting machine. You can just snake it through the whole complex, no matter how long you build it. And that is my optimum way of setting up a sorting machine. It is five blocks wide, apart from a little bit where this wire snakes down. Although I'm sure you could think of a better way to do that if you really wanted the space. And from the front, when it's fully panelled, all you see are your chests. So it is very neat and tidy, which is something a sorting machine often isn't, which is why I like it. So I hope that's been useful for you guys. You okay, Carl? Yeah, you haven't said yeah, much recently. I'm, I'm quiet, because I, I don't have anything to say if you're, if you, if you're building. My discussion on yeah. And you can put raw lines here so it looks like someone's shooting a laser beam across your fin if you really want to. Um, yes, so that's how you build it. It's been a short one, not really a creation, more of a optimal build style. But don't worry, we've got a couple more ideas. We'll be back to some creations this week, won't we? Yeah, God? hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> what is wrong I with you today? Know. I think I'm addicted to Spartacus. I think I'm. I'm, 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 just I'm, I'm daydreaming your... about it. <laughs> That's yeah. worrying. Well, we'll see you next time, yeah, bye guys. Bye-bye, guys. <laughs> see you.